It's the 50th anniversary of the Voting Rights Act, Lyndon B. Johnson's signature legislation that prohibited racial discrimination in voting. It is wrong, deadly wrong, to deny any of your fellow Americans the right to vote in this country. But we still have a problem with voting in the United States. Many people who live in poverty aren't going to the polls. Less than half of those who made under $20,000 a year turned out to the polls in 2012. For those households that made $75,000 or more, three quarters of them voted. That's a big gap, and that makes it a major civil rights issue. So what's behind such low voter turnout among low-income people? Here are a few explanations. Voter ID laws. Since 2008, 17 states have enacted some kind of law requiring voters to prove who they are with some form of ID at the polls. But getting an ID can be costly. A report by the Government Accountability Office showed that it costs between $5 and $58.50 to get an ID in the states that require it. And research shows that these barriers to casting a vote affect the poor, young adults, the elderly, and minorities the most. Most states do have an option to get a free ID, but the documentation required to get that ID, passport, birth certificate, also costs money. Long lines. In the 2012 presidential election, 10 million people waited in line for more than 30 minutes to vote. And a report by the Brennan Center for Justice looking at three states with some of the longest lines in the country indicates that it's a bigger problem in low-income areas. Voters in precincts with more minorities had longer wait times and less resources at polling locations. Workday voting. According to the Census Bureau, being too busy or having a conflicting schedule was the top reason why people did not turn out to vote in the 2012 presidential election. Many poor people who work are at low-paying jobs, part-time jobs, or jobs that pay by the hour. And that can make finding time to vote a challenge. And having a car or paying extra for public transportation can also be expensive. What about holding an election day on a weekend or a holiday? Many other countries do it, including Australia, Germany, Brazil, Italy, and France. And all of those have higher voter turnout rates than the United States. Political engagement. A Pew Research Center report this year suggests that financial security does have an impact on overall voter engagement. Essentially, when you're concerned about putting food on the table, it's hard to think about politics.